Hello, Gamer Nom is back. In this video, we're going to talk about this fruit. Yes, guys, check it out. I got a dragon fruit from Death King. Anyways, we're gonna talk about the date, yes, of the dragon fruit rework as well as the event coming with it. Okay? But before starting, show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. This is a disclaimer, guys. Every time you use my Star Code, I get paid. Where the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Do you remember this post? February 26. Outdated fruits such as Dragon and Control will be receiving the reworks they truly deserve. And then the update came out, update 20, final trailer. Rip and they posted this one. I know, guys, that you've focused on the video, and most of you notice that Dragon rework is not part of it. I know, I know you got disappointed, but guys, I think you missed one simple detail. Check it out. I am talking about the caption. We still have some fire fruits planned for Christmas, guys. And check the icon. You will see a dragon. But even without the dragon, we still have a really good update, right? Update 20, we got the Mammoth Fruit. Again, guys, for those who haven't watched it, we have a 1 to max using the Mammoth Fruit. Okay, so guys, can you rate the fruit 1 to 10? 1 being the lowest, 10 the best. Comment it in the comment section. Next up, guys, who will forget the sound fruit? This one's really good. I have a video of this one uh, with uh, the fastest sound fruit user, right? So better check that out. Again, not the fastest, but the fastest sound fruit user only. After this update, we got this one, right? The ghost fruit, the previous revived fruit. So guys, again, what can you say about that? Actually, the, the, the fruit is really good, yeah, pretty decent, but I still prefer the love fruit. Also, I don't know when this one was updated, right? Uh, the kilo fruit was changed to rocket fruit. There you go. Anyways, we also had an update, right? And yes, I am talking about the Death King Bone Update. So guys, let's compare. What are your top 5 fruits? For me, I already spent, I think, more than 40,000 bones. Yes, more than 40,000. And I'm gonna show you my top 5 fruits now, okay? So please compare. If you have better a uh, list than me, comment it on the comment section. Guys, spoiler alert. I did not get a leopard fruit or a doe fruit. Sad, guys, sad. Anyways, for uh, one of my top 5 fruits, I got the Shadow Fruit, okay? This one's really good, right? For grinding. Also, it has good value when trading. So that is my top 5. Next up, top 4. Actually, not, not in uh, this order. There you go. Next up, I got the Spirit Fruit. See that, guys? It's Spirit Fruit. So I'm gonna avoid cutting things because... I read the comment that I am cheating in some of my videos. So there you go, guys. I got the Spirit Fruit. I just fast forwarded it. There you go. Spirit Fruit. Again, guys, comment in the comment section if you have a better list. So first, I got the Shadow. Next one, I got the Spirit Fruit. So for my number three, guys, the value of the fruit actually depends on the owner. Okay? So this one, next up, Spider Fruit. I think this Spider Fruit has claws. Oh, no, no, no has limbs but I don't know where it is I think I have a uh, slow connection during I made this clip or recorded it so guys after the spider fruit I got magma fruit why did I include this one guys magma fruit one of the best fruits to use during Leviathan hunt so guys the value of this fruit should be really high but it's easy to acquire so yeah and the final one is the dragon fruit guys so yeah I was really lucky to get this one and this is the topic of this whole video right the dragon fruit rework so gamer nom when will we see this dragon fruit rework guys again if you see the roadmap right i'm gonna show you the roadmap after the ghost update ghost fruit update we will still have one more update i don't know is this a kitsune fruit i am not really aware of that but after this one guys and again take note it's still 2023 and i believe with the wings this is the rework dragon fruit also notice the present on top of the fruit, which means, guys, do you remember? I think there will be the present event during the Christmas. So guys, yes, you can open one present per hour. There you go, at the North Pole. Yes, you still need to stay on this green circle. And after one hour, there will be a countdown. There you go. Also, there's a 1% chance that you can get this one, the mythical accessory, the holiday cloak. There you go, 1% chance. 
take note, this is a mythical accessory, which means it's really good. Plus 10% melee and block fruits damage, plus 1 observation dodge. Also, every time you open a present, you will get a fruit. See that? We got a spin fruit. Oh, not so good fruit. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna show you the actual, uh, what do you call this? Holiday cloak with my different account. And this account is lucky, guys. I just recorded this one a while ago. See that? We get the control fruit. <laughs> Wait for the rework. That is not yet planned. I will update you on that and check this out. The holiday cloak. Okay, our internet is really slow here in the Philippines. PLDC. Yeah. Anyway, here it is. Not bad, guys. It really looks great. And again, for the stats, just to make sure they did not change it. Okay, 10% more damage on melee and blast fruits, plus one extra instinct. Okay, yeah, there you go. Okay, so are we done? No, guys. Aside from the present, I think we will be having the candy event. We're in. Oh, guys, I forgot almost. What is this part of the present? I'm not sure guys, but again, correct me if I'm wrong, if this is part of the present update, check it out guys. This hat increases your mastery or your base experience every time you kill an NPC by 10%. Not bad for grinding, right? But again, correct me, I'm not sure if this is part of the present update or the candy update. I'm not sure guys, sorry. Again, let's question mark that one. But this one guys, there you go, the elf hat, that is part of a Christmas update like two years ago. There you go. Elf hat really looks good. This one is really good for beginners, for noobs. Because you can acquire this in the first C. There you go. Grants you 20% faster on, 10% damage on melee and sword, and 5% cooldown reduction for melee sword attack. So guys, if you want to start using swords or melee in the first C, this one's really good, right? Easy to get. Next up is the Santa hat. This is the more popular hat. Because, again, aside from Santa owns this one, this hat also increases Black's Fruit damage. So 30% of faster run, 12.5% more damage on Black's Fruits. Okay? It also increases your HP and energy. Not bad, right? Also, guys, let's not forget this one. This is a Christmas or a holiday limited ship or boat. I, I doubt you can use this one on uh, Leviathan Hunt. We still don't have the, uh, what do you call this, the Beast Hunter. There you go, the Slay, guys. 5,000. This is, uh, I mean, this uh, ship can only be unlocked during Christmas. I know. I don't know if you can unlock it this uh, upcoming update, but guys, it, again, I'm not sure if you can use this on Leviathan Hunt. Most likely, this one has low HP. For uh, the amount of candies needed, I think this one costs 1,000. Please help me with that. Comment it on the comment section. Also for the hat, the elf and the Santa hat. Again, guys, I am so excited with this upcoming updates. And again, nothing is confirmed. Updates might be delayed. But again, we are expecting a dragon fruit rework this upcoming Christmas. Okay? So again, that's it. To all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Rom. Gamer Rom out.